besides being two of the greatest football stars of their generation. Gareth Bale and Neymar Jr. are powerful men who have made a lot of money in their careers. But have you ever wondered which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video, you will see a heated battle between Gareth Bale and Neymar Jr. So let's fight! Cars! Both players love to enjoy luxury vehicles, but which of them has the most impressive garage? Gareth Bale, for example, has been spotted with cars such as Lexus RX 400h $20,000 Audi Q750 TDI for $56,000 BMW i5 for $67,000 $75,000 Audi A7 Audi Q8 from $75,000 Audi Q8 e-tron from $84,000 Range Rover Sport from $85,000 Audi SQ7 TDI for $90,000 Audi Q7 3.0 TDI Sport from $95,000 Porsche Panamera 4 from $97,000 BMW iX M60 from $110,000 Ferrari FF from $138,000 Audi R8 from $158,000 Mercedes-Benz AMG G63 for $180,000 And even a $220,000 Mercedes SLS AMG One of the most luxurious cars in his garage is a Bentley Continental GTC A massively fast dynamic vehicle equipped with an incredible V8 by turbo engine And to own a car like that, you have to shell out an average of $240,000 Bale was also clicked next to a Lamborghini Huracan, a sports car capable of attracting attention wherever it goes, which stands out for its high level of performance, easily reaching a top speed of over 200 miles per hour. And the car in which the star was seen is valued at $242,000. Some sources also speculate that the Welshman owns a Ferrari GTC for Lusso, a sports car with a V12 engine capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles in just 3.4 seconds, as well as reaching a top speed of 208 miles per hour. And to own a car like that, you have to shell out around $300,000. Neymar Jr., for his part, has been spotted with beautiful cars such as $25,000 E. Wave X, $50,000 Volkswagen Touareg, $55,000 Audi Q5, $83,000 Range Rover Sport, $120,000 Audi RS7 Sportback. He has also been spotted with an Audi R8 Spider, a sophisticated vehicle with a beautiful design to drive, whose price can exceed $150,000. Neymar has also been seen leaving with a Porsche Panamera Turbo, a powerful car for those who love great adventures, as it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds, and is valued at around $170,000. Another of his greatest achievements was the acquisition of a Ferrari 458 Spider, a stunning car that is the dream of many people, and it was no different with Neymar. And to have this beautiful car, the player needed to invest about $260,000. Another Ferrari even more luxurious than he has already appeared, was a GTC4 Lusso, a supercar that despite being worth a fortune, Neymar has already had a hard time when the car's key was not working properly. And to get through such a fancy time, it may be necessary to invest more than $300,000 in the vehicle. And some sources speculate that Neymar owns a Maserati MC11, a super sports car that accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.8 seconds and costs around $1.5 million. Considering the price of Neymar's vehicles, he wins this round. Point for the Brazilian! Exaggerated Luxuries both stars have enough money to enjoy a lot of luxuries, but which one spends more? For example, Gareth Bale wears sophisticated watches, such as Cartier Tank Anglaise $20,000 Rolex Cosmograph Daytona $24,000 Audemars Pichuet Offshore Rubber Clad for $25,500 Rolex Yachtmaster 40 Eve Rose Gold for $33,000 even the Hublet Spirit of Big Bang Mika 10 King Gold is a luxury watch with a skeleton dial and rubber strap, which has satin and polished finishes that give it greater durability and resistance to scratches and water. That's probably why it's priced at around $45,000.
Bale also often goes out on the high seas aboard beautiful boats. During his holidays in Marbella in 2015, the star even took the opportunity to venture out on a Yamaha FX Cruiser SVHO, a fast jet ski with a high level of performance, whose average rental price is 450 euros per day. To propose to his wife, Gareth Bale chose the luxurious retreat of Tagamago, a private island in the Mediterranean Sea. The island is 98 acres in size and even has its own lighthouse. The couple stayed in a luxurious villa with a clean design, and among the main areas of the retreat are Open plan living room Five exquisite bedrooms Outdoor dining area A leisure area with a luxury swimming pool And a spa bath with privileged views of the region To stay in this enchanting location, Gareth Bale had to spend quite a bit of money According to media reports, the Welshman rented the place for £400,000. Niemer, on the other hand, is just a little little behind. When it comes to dressing well, for example, Niemer has been seen wearing several expensive watches, such as Rolex Submariner Bluesy of $18,000 Rolex GMT Master 2 Batman $22,000 Rolex Daytona in 18K Eve Rose $42,000 Rolex Daytona John Mayer Dial $43,000 Rolex Datejust Zebra $50,000 Rolex Daytona with a black dial $60,000 Rolex Daydate Rainbow $105,000 Rolex GMT Master 2 in Rose Gold $185,000 Rolex Daytona's Eye of the Tiger of $300,000 And even a $960,000 Richard Mill Michelle Yeo in his spare time, Niemer likes to enjoy life on the high seas, having been spotted several times partying aboard yachts. And it is no coincidence that he has decided to buy his boat, an Azimut 78, manufactured by the renowned Italian boat brand Azimut Yachts. The yacht is three stories high and 78 feet long, with enough space to accommodate his closest guests. And when you want to spend a few days on board, for suites offer a lot of comforts. And there is no doubt that to enjoy all this luxury, it is necessary to spend a lot of money. To get an idea of the price, it is estimated that this model yacht costs around $3 million. And because Niemer spends more extravagantly, he wins this round. Most Expensive Property Both athletes don't skimp when it comes to good places to live, but who has the most luxurious property? Gareth Bale, for example, owns a country estate in Wales, located in the village of Istradowen, in the southern region. The property has become better known in recent years thanks to the construction of three personalized golf courses outside, which are replicas of holes from famous competitions. One of them, for example, is a replica of the 17th hole at Sawgrass, centered in the middle of a lake. In this environment, Gareth Bale usually spends a lot of time training for the competitions he takes part in, as well as having a lot of fun with friends. You can also see that the former footballer's property covers a good deal of land, making it a very private and peaceful place for him and his family to live, enjoying the beautiful scenery in the area. The site also has a residence, but little is known about its interior. According to some sources, the star's country estate is worth £4 million, but it is likely worth more today as in recent years it has been reported that he has submitted requests to expand it. Niemer's most famous mansion, on the other hand, is located in the Porto Bello condominium in Mangaratiba, Rio de Janeiro. The contemporary style house is over 17,000 square feet and has several luxuries, such as a floating staircase connecting the levels and artwork on the walls. The living room is perfect for casual gatherings, while the formal dining area has a huge table and the kitchen has stainless steel appliances. The house also has a home theater, a game room, and plenty of rooms to lounge in. In the case of the master suite, there are large windows, an automated TV that comes down from the ceiling, and also a lovely terrace with lawn, as well as a luxurious bathroom and a very spacious closet. Going to the exterior, the mansion is situated on a plot of almost three acres and has some very interesting spaces, such as a synthetic tennis court, private deck, swimming pool with an 82-foot lane, a gym equipped with high-quality equipment, spa integrated with nature, gourmet space with barbecue, wine cellar with capacity for more than 3,000 bottles, jacuzzi integrated with sauna, a helipad to arrive in style, among many other amenities that only a millionaire mansion can offer. In addition to all this, 
the place can offer a lot of comfort and fun for Neymar to enjoy with his peers, and everyone knows that the player is passionate about confraternization. And according to the real estate agency Home Pro, the property was purchased by the player after watching the video of the house that was posted on YouTube, and he paid $8.5 million for the place. As Neymar has a more expensive mansion, he wins this round. Other Properties Both players have lived in many properties, but who has the most luxurious property portfolio? Gareth Bale, for example. While playing for Tottenham Hotspur, the player owned a charming, recently modernized mansion in Clarence Gate, in the Woodford Green area of England. Taking a look inside, there are around four reception rooms, a dining space next to French doors, and even an elegant office. There are also five cozy bedrooms to accommodate the residents, not forgetting the 150-foot landscape garden outside. According to some sources, shortly after Bale signed for Real Madrid, he decided to dispose of the property, asking for a whopping 2.2 million pounds. While playing for Los Blancos, it is believed that Bale lived in a modern-style mansion in Madrid's exclusive La Finca neighborhood. The property belonged to Brazilian footballer Kaka and is described as a twin of Cristiano Ronaldo's property in the same area. Although there is little information about the property, it has more than 16,100 square feet of internal space and offers many amenities for the player to enjoy daily, such as an indoor pool area and a golf course in the backyard. According to the media, Gareth Bale had to pay around £10,000 a month in rent, and if he ever decided to buy it, he would have to spend a good amount, as the place is valued at £6.5 million. Meanwhile, Neymar Jr. has many properties in his hometown. He owns for example a beautiful apartment in the state of Santa Catarina, in a luxury building that has a privileged location facing the beach, with a beautiful view of the sea at his disposal. According to some sources, the apartments in this building are about 4,700 square feet. And to purchase a unit, Neymar needed to fork out around $1 million at the time. In the same area, the player also purchased another apartment in recent years, this time in the Vitor Hugo residence condominium, which is just steps away from the sea. The condo offers several amenities to residents, and according to sources, Neymar owns two units in that building, each with 4,700 square feet of space and lovely ocean views. According to media reports, the properties cost the player approximately $1.2 million. But Neymar's most sophisticated apartment in Brazil is undoubtedly his four floors penthouse at the Yacht House Residence Club in Balneario Camboriú. With 81 floors and over 918 feet high, the complex is composed of two identical towers and was built with a lot of planning, sophistication, and class. This development is so grandiose that the construction is considered the largest Brazilian residential building and the tallest building in Latin America. And, of course, the apartments in this building are up to its magnificence. All units have a panoramic view, which is the property's great differential. And when you want to have fun, you don't even have to leave the building, since it has a huge, luxurious leisure area of more than 107,000 square feet. To get a property in this elegant building, Neymar had to invest a real fortune. According to some sources, the player bought two apartments in this development, the first is a $3 million unit for his father and the second is his apartment, which cost around $6 million. And all these properties are just a part of Neymar's real estate portfolio because it is estimated that he owns dozens of properties. So it's clear that Neymar wins this round. Aircraft When traveling, both players use modern aircraft, but who has the best means of transport by air? For example, Gareth Bale has already been photographed with the Wales team on a Boeing 737-329 airplane belonging to Malif Aero. Designed for short and medium-haul flights, this 109-foot-long aircraft is ideal for traveling on national and international routes, with plenty of space to comfortably accommodate more than 100 people. And it's no wonder that a plane of this class costs around $17,350 per hour to rent. Another plane he has already been able to use is Real Madrid's own aircraft, an Airbus A380 that has been customized by Emirates, the club's sponsor since 2013. The aircraft is nothing less than a very luxurious four-engine jet, capable of carrying up to 525 passengers, as well as having a cruising speed of almost 900 kilometers per hour. Among the aircraft's unique features are a bar for players, 
cozy seats, and round-the-clock air service. On top of all this, each player has a cabin with 2,500 channels to watch, as well as their own non-alcoholic minibar and even a private bathroom to take care of their appearance. To enjoy a jet like this, you have to fork out a lot of money. According to some sources, the club's jet is valued at 340 million pounds, while for those who just want to charter a plane of the same model, you need to spend more than $37,000 per hour. But it's not only on team aircraft that the star has a habit of traveling, as he also likes to show off his private jets. During his return to Tottenham in 2020, for example, it was reported that he traveled in an Ember Legacy 600, an extremely refined executive jet equipped with two powerful engines that allow it to reach a maximum speed of 3,250 nautical miles. Going inside the aircraft, you can see that it offers a lot of comfort for passengers, being able to carry up to 13 people in a luxurious cabin. To fly for an hour in this medium-sized jet, you have to pay around $6,700. Gareth Bale is also believed to own a Cessna Citation XLS Plus, the world's best-selling jet. This is transport with the amenities and comfort of a medium-sized jet but with lower operating costs. To charter such a plane, you have to shell out around $4,000 per flight hour, and according to some sources, the former footballer's jet costs $6.4 million. Neymar Jr., on the other hand, once owned an EC-130 helicopter, a means of transport worth around $1.7 million. Going even higher, he once owned a Phenom 100 jet, a small business jet manufactured by the Brazilian brand Emperor. The aircraft can carry up to five passengers, offering plenty of comfort. And it is no wonder that to acquire this jet, it may be necessary to spend around $3 million. In 2019, Niemer decided to buy an even more expensive helicopter, an H-145 model. This is an aircraft that can carry up to 10 passengers, and Niemer made sure to customize its interior by placing seats with the symbol of Batman, the star's favorite superhero. And to get an idea of the price, a new helicopter of this model can cost almost $10 million. But without a doubt, Niemer's most expensive aircraft is his Cessna Citation 680, an American mid-sized business jet with a flying range of more than 3,200 miles. The interior of the player's plane is very spacious and refined, being able to accommodate up to 12 people, offering a lot of comfort for all passengers. And although it is not known how much the player paid for the jet, it is known that a new aircraft of this model costs around $18 million. By owning more expensive aircraft, Niemer wins this round point for him. Business As well as being two great footballers, they also have other sources of income. But who stands out the most in business? Gareth Bale, for example, owns a few businesses, such as Eleven's Bar and Grill, a modern sports bar that offers an extensive selection of drinks, various culinary options, live broadcasts of sporting events, and a unique decor full of sports memorabilia. He is also co-owner of Par 59, a restaurant bar with a relaxed and casual space, which also stands out for offering personalized mini-golf courses for fun, located in Cardiff City Center and another in Bristol's Harborside District. In 2020, the football star launched Eleven's Esports, his own esports company. The former player also likes to invest part of his fortune in other ventures, such as luxury car hire company Otto Vivendi and whiskey producer Penderin Distillery. As early as 2022, Gareth Bale decided to launch his own line of beers. But his biggest source of income off the pitch is probably through advertising deals. This is because as one of the best footballers of his generation, he has become known all over the world, currently amassing more than 52 million followers on Instagram alone. And because he is very active on social media, he often signs paid partnerships with famous brands such as Adidas Football, Nissan, Wish, TaylorMade Golf, and PlayStation, among many others. According to some sources, Bale earns around $185,000 for a single post on his profile. Adding up all his sponsorships, it is speculated that the star earns around $9 million a year. Neymar also has good sources of income. Because he is considered one of the best soccer players in the world, he has become a celebrity known all over the world. On social networks, for example, he is the third most followed soccer player in the world, only behind Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. On Instagram alone, he has more than 200 million followers, a number so high that it makes him the most famous person in Brazil. And of course, 
because he is so famous, Nimer can earn a lot of money by associating with and promoting several companies. Among the brands for which the Brazilian soccer star has advertised are Red Bull, Gillette, McDonald's, Nike, Guarana Antarctica, Oreo, Clear Men, MasterCard, Diesel, Beats, Panasonic, and many others. But without a doubt, his main sponsor is the sporting goods company Puma, where he has the largest single sports sponsorship contract in history, an amount that is around $25 million per year. As we don't know the turnover of all the businesses, we'll consider the round a draw. Points for both. Net worth. As two football celebrities, there's no doubt that they've made a lot of money, but who has managed to amass the biggest fortune? Starting with Gareth Bale. Most of his earnings have come from his career as an athlete, as Gareth Bale earned a fortune in wages while at Real Madrid alone. To give you an idea, his transfer in 2013 alone was made for a record fee of $104 million. In terms of how much he earned per year with the team, his earnings increased as he excelled in competition. In 2013, playing his first year for the club, the Welshman was paid $18.6 million. By 2016, his gross annual salary was already $28 million, while as of 2019, Gareth Bale earned $32.9 million a year. But it was playing for Tottenham in 2020 that he received the highest annual salary of his career, estimated at over $38 million gross. However, when he signed for Los Angeles FC in 2022, the star saw a significant drop in his earnings, receiving just $2.3 million in total. This probably influenced Gareth Bale to retire from the pitch at the beginning of 2023, as he earns much more than that from his other sources of income alone. Although nobody knows for sure how much the player's fortune is worth, it is estimated that Gareth Bale has a net worth of around $145 million. Neymar Jr., on the other hand, had to work hard to reach the high financial level he has today. When he was playing in the youth categories of Santos, for example, he used to earn about $2,000 per month, a value that has grown a lot, reaching almost $4 million per season. At Barcelona, Neymar's salary grew exponentially, reaching an average of $15 million per year just in base salary, not counting bonuses and sponsorships. But it was at Paris Saint-Germain that the Brazilian star reached the peak of his financial life, receiving about $53 million in salary alone. Adding this huge salary to his advertising earnings, the athlete's income gets even bigger. And it's no wonder that in 2020 Forbes estimated that Neymar earned about $96 million for the year, ranking him among the highest paid athletes in the world. And although no one knows exactly how much his fortune is worth, some sources estimate that Neymar Jr. has currently amassed a net worth of around $200 million. Considering that Neymar has a bigger fortune, he wins this last round. At the end of this battle, we have one point for Gareth Bale against seven points for Neymar, making him the big winner. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.